As far as the details go, I feel like they did a really great job, but I don't know what's going on like right around here because Mezco seems to always do that. Like, this is how revealing my costume needs to be if I was to ever meet Harley Quinn. Just a friendly reminder from your boy Animated Heroes, don't forget to check out my boys at Sculptimo Toys for the best figures, best prices, and fastest shipping if you guys haven't already. Let's get into it. What the heck is up you guys, it's your boy Ace aka Animated Heroes here back with another action figure review and as you can see today we're going to be taking a look at the Mezco Deluxe Edition Harley Quinn and my does this figure look really, really good. It does some things that I like and it does some things that I don't like. Most of it is aesthetically but I'll dive into that in just a sec. First let's take a look at the details on this figure and then we'll move right along. Starting with the default expression, I'll say that I do like this. It really has that jester clown look to it. Uh, you've got these blue eyes that look very realistic. The smile looks realistic. Uh, the paint, everything they did on this head sculpt looks super dope. Now down to these things right here, I don't like this. Uh, I feel like they should have just went with something like a soft plastic on this and been done. Because this one right here, just it like sticks up. I can't do anything to get it to stay down like that. That is annoying right there. And I'm probably going to swap that out because I've heard that multiple people have had this issue, but I'm going to see if I can swap this with the DC icons one. Now, as far as the outfit goes, the stitching doesn't look bad, but it looks weird in this spot right here. And then this one right here where the black connects to the red. Um, other than that, it looks fine, even on like the arms. I know there's really not much they can do about bringing the stitching together and the back even looks fine. It's just something about like right here. Maybe there was nothing they can do about it. So I'm just going to throw that in as like my own personal nitpick. I'm not going to say it's a problem or anything, but the reds look good. Black looks good. Um, it's not centered, of course, but that's not something I'm going to blame them for either. These right here, these little, um, I don't know what these are called on her arms, but these look really good as well. Watch your hands because these will get dirt on them. I can tell you that. Um, now, as far as the body goes, I think this is the Catwoman body, which is cool. It just looks weird right around here at the waist. But of course, that's where some of the articulation comes from. So I can't really blame them for that either. And then all the way down to the feet. Love them. Love what they did with the boots. I know that this probably has no ankle articulation, but it's Mesco, so I can't complain about that. But overall, I'll say as far as looks, figure's phenomenal. I really, really love the way that it looks. So let's go ahead and put her back and see how tall she stands so that we can get right on into that articulation. Now, in terms of her height, she does feel like she's taller than Catwoman, and it could just be the boots but to the top of her head, she stands a little bit over six inches, right under six and a half. So pretty tall figure, as you guys can see. Of course, I will be showing some size comparisons a little bit later so we can see how she scales with the rest of the Mezco figures from the Batman universe. Articulation wise, she looks up about that much. Really freaking good, in my opinion. She looks down about that much, not nearly as much, and honestly, it just looks like she's looking forward. So you don't get much out of that. She gets a whole lot of movement at the head, so that makes me happy. Her arms go up and out about that much really well. Of course, you can bring them all the way up and just about back, too. I'm not going to do it. This elbow on mine right here feels so freaking fragile. So I'm going to bend that carefully. You get right at... 90 degrees maybe a little bit more but not much you do get a bicep swivel her hands are on a hinge and oh my gosh that's scary let me pull that down um she does have a diaphragm joint and so at the diaphragm joint i'm gonna get her straight at the diaphragm joint she hunches forward about that much but at the waist you can get it a little bit more not a whole lot but it's still there as far as going back uh, she goes back only about that much and the only reason i'm not pulling it anymore is because it's really feeling like it's stretching the fabric but uh, as far as kicking forward kicks forward about that much kicks back not much at all she can do the splits i'm going that far and then i'm gonna leave it she could probably do more but once again don't want to stretch the fabric she does have a built-in thigh swivel 
Um, double jointed knees? I'm pretty sure that's double jointed, so I'm going to say it is. As far as her foot goes, you do get swivel at the boot. It goes down a little bit, up a little bit. Of course, no ankle rocker. So articulation-wise, eh, it's typical Mezco. I'll give it a 6.5 out of 10. Now, this is where things get great with this figure. Straight out of the package, you do get this default smirk face, which looks really good. A pair of fist hands as well. You get these pair of gripping type hands, which can be for holding. You get two different pair of hands, one that is more open and then one that's kind of closed. I think they're both still for gripping objects. Uh, you get another one that's open. I don't know why they gave two of these. And then you get a trigger hand as well. So a few hands, you do get this I don't know if this is like a rocket launcher or what, but it looks really dope. And then I do like how it has these tallies on it. I'm pretty sure this is probably for the number of bodies that she's got off of using this, which she's going to calm down. Don't worry. I'm going to take care of her. Now, it also comes with this piece right here, which you can just plug into any one of these slots. And it does stick, as you guys can see. And that's dope, man. It's got this smoke effect to it that it goes from black to white. I really enjoy that. And then you get this little missile or whatever. You guys can see it's got some paint on it as well. So that I really, really dig. Uh, she comes with this little Joker doll here. This is awesome as well. I don't know who would be crazy enough to make this. But as you guys can see, it's kind of ripped. And so some of it's being torn out. I really love how you have that there. The detail on this is just great like mezco killed it with this i really enjoy that uh now she comes with her mallet as well it would be awesome if she would have came with a baseball bat but i've got like 10 of those so it's all good uh this feels very fragile so be careful with that and it looks like it unplugs right here but i guess not i don't know maybe it just looks like it but um yeah very very fragile looking plastic uh now she comes with this gun as well which her and joker use all the time They'll play like they're going to shoot you with this, and then they'll pull out a real gun and shoot you. And I love how this piece right here comes out. Um, and then it does have a bat logo on there, if you guys can see it. There's two X's right there for eyes, so that's dope. Then on the back, it says for Batman, so that's really, really freaking cool. You do get this grenade, which is extremely detailed. Uh, it's gray, but it's got a whole lot of black wash on it. You get this little grenade, or not grenade, bomb that looks like it's about to blow up with a pair of lips on there. So that's dope as well. I could have a whole lot of fun with that. You get a angry head sculpt, which is her when she's unmasked. This looks like she's really pissed off, like someone just upset the Joker or locked him up. This is something I'll really enjoy. And then you get this one where she's laughing like a maniac. And man... The, the detail on these faces, like that's one thing I've got to give Mezco. The detail on all three of these faces, it's just great. And I thought that this one was probably going to be my favorite or even this one, but I think this face right here is my favorite. This looks really damn good. So I got to give it to them accessory wise. They did a great job. I'm satisfied with this. Now for some size comparisons, here she is standing next to the DC Icons Classic Outfit Harley, which now that these two are next to each other, I can really spot the differences in the red. This is actually more of a maroon color versus this one, which is more vibrant. But uh, yeah, anyway, this is the SH Figure Arts Injustice Harley Quinn and then the DC Bombshells. All great figures. Next up, here she is standing next to some more Mezco Batman figures. We have the Batman Supreme Knight. Which is my favorite Batman from them? We have the Crown Prince of Crime Joker and, of course, Commissioner Gordon himself. Here she is standing next to a DC Collectibles Nolan Trilogy Joker thug from Batman the Dark Knight, the Moffex Classic Deadpool, and, of course, the Mezco exclusive Catwoman. Lastly, here she is standing next to a Mezco Animated Heroes on the Gold Skull Ninja Body, the SH Figure Arts Black Panther, and of course, a Marvel Legends Black Panther as well. Now, Harley Quinn is and always will be Bay. That is never going to change, but that's not to say I don't have any problems with this figure. Most of them come from the design itself. 
This body, once again, Mezco, you guys need to do away with this. I know that it's cheaper to reuse bodies, especially when you have to do the design for the clothing work, the head sculpts, and then all of the other accessories and things that you guys have to make. But I'm sure just like myself, any collector would be willing to pay more to get a good figure. Harley Quinn is way too agile for this figure to be limited the way that it is. Harley Quinn is always seen doing flips and tricks and all kinds of things. This figure can do none of that. For the most part, you can't really... She's difficult to get stand to stand up straight, for one. But that's not a problem for me because I know how to pose it well enough to where I can get her to stand. But as far as dynamic poses, anything like that, it's just not happening. They made this mistake with Catwoman. I wasn't expecting them to fix it with this figure. But it's just like, come on, man. They know about ACBA. They know about people who photograph their figures. And I just don't understand why they won't update a lot of this stuff. Like the Joker body. That stuff just needs to go. Like, wipe that out. Give us what we want. I mean, you already went up from 60 to 80 bucks for standard figures. And then some of them are more than that. People are still spending $150, $170 on things like gomez and dark side so why not if you have to up it to 95 dollars or whatever to give us a new body and better figures just do it we we as collectors at this point if we want it we're gonna buy it there's nothing stopping us and i've seen that especially within the last couple of months and so not to harp on that anymore it's just i really wish they would fix this because this is a good figure but it had the potential to be a great figure and i'm still talking about it but um yeah anyway it's a solid figure uh and if it, anyone's wondering yes i did go ahead and change this piece out because it was bugging the hell out of me that does come from the dc icons i swapped them but um yeah anyway if you like harley quinn it's still gonna look really good in your collection you still can get some great photos out of it if you don't take photos then of course she's gonna look really good on your shelf so i do recommend this figure to anyone who is thinking about getting it uh, this is one that might potentially go up in the future uh, you never know with mezco so if you can get your hands on it i think i think she retails for around 95 dollars after shipping uh, my boy at sculptimo still might have her so go check him out anyway i'm done rambling hope you guys enjoyed this review if so don't forget to give it a thumbs up because that always helps me out subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more content and follow me on everything you see listed in the description below to keep up with my activity outside of YouTube. I'm Animated Heroes, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe. Peace. Bye.